Hello, good morning and welcome to the blog. It's Friday morning. I hope everyone's had a good day yesterday and uh, looking forward to the weekend. So we're at 491 subscribers and we're getting close to the 500 subscriber giveaway. Just another 10, hopefully we'll get them over the next few days. We can then set up that competition where Aladdin's going to be the free snake. And I'll just um, show you how he's doing so you can see what the prize will be. Uh, let me just show you that now. So Aladdin, where is he? Here he is. Let's have a look at him. Beautiful cinnamon. 100% TSK Exantic. And you can see he's a beautiful snake. A little bit shy, needs a bit of love and attention. But uh, I'm sure he'll warm up to the new winner, the owner. And uh, yeah, it'll be for UK subscribers so we can ship it out. And we'll give out a t-shirt and stickers and things to anyone else outside the UK that may uh, get the opportunity to win, plus a voucher as well. So that's the uh, prize that we're going to be giving away shortly. Let's have a quick look and see how our locks are doing from yesterday. It turned out Jared came up and said that uh, Venus and um, Cookie weren't locked. It was my mistake. It was <laughs> a pattern on the tail. But when we came in the morning, ironically, what was really funny is that they did lock when Jared came in. So... And they're, locked, they're still locked now. See there? See the tails being locked? She's hiding it, but <laughs> there we go. Look at that, she's being ever so camera shy. <laughs> but they are still locked, which is fantastic news. And uh, we're producing some lesser parables, which is what we want to go for. I'll just see if I can get them to show the lock a bit more if I can. But she's being very private here. But there you can see, you can see the tail that's locked underneath hers now. There we go. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, guys. So, in actual fact, even though I made a mistake yesterday, it was a lock, so we're still on 80%. One I'm interested in is Ray. and see whether Ray and um, Bowser, Drew's are called locked. Let's see what they're doing. They're cuddling and they're tail. Look. Look at that. Tail to tail. He's still tail to tailing, so. That's really interesting, isn't it? Interesting behaviour. So I don't think it'll be long before he gets the hang of it. So there we go. Now, if you can learn to get underneath, I think it's the male goes underneath and the female is uh, on the tail side, I believe that's what it is. But uh, we're getting close to a lot there. That looks really encouraging and they're not snuggling in together. Let's have a little smell. Not smelling his sperm, but I think he's um, he's getting the hang of this now, which is great. Let's just have a quick check and see if the other ones are still locked. So Panda was locked to the banana. Let's see if they're still locked now. So they've unlocked, and she's bulb wrapping. Still building, amazing. Just look at that. So we could put banana to another project, but I'll wait for Jared to come in and we we'll discuss that together. So she's doing well, really, really big. And uh, what was the other one I was going to show you? Oh yeah, Amber. No, not Amber. It was Coco and Ultramel Titus. See if they're still locked. Were they unlocked? Looks like they've. Not sure whether they're locked or unlocked, but uh, looking happy together. So I'll leave those in peace, and then let's just check the uh, locking Phoenix, see if they're still locked. And they have unlocked, I think. So we could put the cinnamon boy somewhere else. Again, we'll wait for Jared to make that decision with me. Okay. He's big enough to go to another girl. Let's check on the eggs, do our usual check. So I need the temperature gun. Hopefully it's all still good. Check the temps. 89. And 89, that's fine. Fan's working well. Eggs look like they're in good shape. So that's all good. Now let's check on the shedding. See whether we've got any sheds that we need to have a look at. Joker was still in shed. Let's see if he's still in shed. Yep, he's still in shed. We'll leave him in peace. And we had another one in shed, another male cookie. 
So I was going to check. Uh, where's, where's my beautiful cookie? Uh, cookie, 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 cookie. Um, let's have a little look. I've lost my cookie. There he is. He's right in front of me. <laughs> it's because I haven't got a green tag on him. Jared's been in, unless he's under here. Oh no, he's under here. Let's see if he's out of shape yet. Oh, Philip. No, he is still in shed. So then we'll let him shed out. Leave you in peace, buddy. Right, let's check these girls, see if any of these are shed out. Mango. She's certainly done a poo in here. She needs a clean out. And has she shed yet? Can't see a shed yet. She's a bit of cleaning to do there. Let's see if she's in shed. Let's see if she's come out. Yep, still in the shed. Phoebe. Oh, yep, she's done a perfect shed and a poo and a wee. Let's see how she's looking. Oh, she looks lovely. Let's have a little look. Absolutely stunning animal, beautiful. So what we might do is we might put her in the light box and see if we can get her to make sure she shed out nice and perfectly, which she has. There she is, beautiful animal. So I think we will leave her in peace, I think. Could put her in the light box, but she's beautiful. A lot of cleaning to do today. So I'm doing a filming before we've cleaned. Just got to make sure that uh, there we go. So that's really good. So she's shut out. We'll take that off her. Um, Ariel, see if she's shut out. Just checking the sheds. Actually, she shut out. I think she shut out yesterday. She did shut out yesterday. And I forgot to take the tag off. So let's take the tag off. So she's shut out. She's fine. We'll check that, Giovanni. Everyone's pooed in his shed as well. Good, good, good. So have a look at him. Oh, look, he's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. He's the super pastel banana G stripe. So what I might do is the ones that are shed out, I might take them to the light box and just show you them. And she's pooed but she hasn't shed. Okay. Electra, let's see if she's shed. Right, she's still in a deep shed. Joker we've checked. Terry, let's see if Terry's shed. Just checking the sheds. No, she's in deep shed. Ready to shed out. And then we've also got Cappuccino that was in a shed. And she's beautifully shed out first. That could be her pre-lay shed there. Which I think it may be. <laughs> and that's the perfect shed. And we won't disturb her. We'll let Jared deal with that. Now, when you get a situation where you've got a female that's just about to lay eggs or soon, it's best to leave her undisturbed. But that's a perfect shed. So well done cappuccino. So we'll just put these in the light box. Get the light box on ready for a quick picture. I think it'll be nice. We'll just stick that over there. It's nice. So let's just have another look at the see if Amber's shed. So it's a day of poos and sheds today. Nope, she's still in shed. We'll leave her in peace. And we've got Jade. Nope, she's still in shed. Leave her in peace. Penelope. She's still not in a perfect shed. Perfect shed. That could be her pre lay shed. She's certainly bulking up. Look at that. She doesn't she look good? So a perfect shed as well. So we've got her to record on the sheds. Just take her off as well. Into there. And Ezra, our inchy male. Is he shed out? No, nope, he's still in shed. No need in peace. So I think that's all the shed checks. Let's just check on toast, see if she's shed. Postnatal shed? No, not yet. Oh, she has. Yeah, she's at the back there. So she's looking good. Perfect shed. 
and she's looking good too. So it's a day of sheds, poos and wees, Friday. And I think that's about it on those. Let's have a look at our bambinos, see if any of these are shed. No, it's still in shed, that's the pumpkin pie. And that's Calissa, is the other one that's in shed. Perfect shed almost. She's looking clean. Doesn't she look lovely? The clown's all shed out. So that's really good. Some good shedding going on here today. Uh, let's check on this side. Nothing can shed on here. So I think I was going to just show off a few snakes that have shed out now. So which one was it that shed out now? I've got to try and remember everything. Um, there were some really nice sheds, wasn't there? Let me just see what we can show off that's not actually gravid at the moment. So I believe cappuccino. We've got uh, mango. Phoebe, I was going to leave her. She's just shed out. Um, buh, 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 buh. That's the problem with so many snakes, it's difficult to keep track of everything. Um, I've done Aladdin, Korma, Terry, Calypso. Let's see how Calypso is doing. She looks fine. Leave her in peace. That's lovely. And we had Penelope gave us a shed, we'll leave her. So any of the gravid girls we're going to leave. I was going to just have a look and see. Uh, which one was it? It was Giovanni, that's the one I was going to show you. This is the G-Stripe Super Pastel Banana. He will look lovely in the light. Uh, as he's shed out, I think we should do a little feature on him. There he is. Look how beautiful he looks. Now he's shed out. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll just go and have a little look at him in the light box and really show off his beautiful patterns and colours. There we go, fella. Doesn't that look lovely? We'll have a little exploration of his position. So the super pastel gives him that deep blushing on the head. And then he's got a continuous stripe all the way down his back. Not all G-stripes have that, but he does have a complete stripe. And it's the same blushing as the Super Pastel head stamp. So it's well blushed out. And he has very small, one or two small dots as a banana because the Super Pastel minimizes the amount of dots. And he's gonna go for exploration. We'll zoom in on that beautiful pattern. Absolutely adorable. Just look how gorgeous that is. Really, really beautiful. There we go. Hope you're enjoying these images. So he's a lovely boy, isn't he? And he's probably almost up to size. So what we might do is we might also weigh him and see what weight he's producing. I might get the scales out. So let's get those scales working. Say what we can do here. I'm hoping he's about 700 at the moment, 800. I'm guessing he's going to be close to 700. Might be a bit more. But having actually not eaten for a week or so, he's probably going to be below his normal weight because he's shed out and not eaten during shed. And uh, I'm looking forward to pairing him up. And we've got another G Stripe female that's building, which we got from. Uh, marker at BHPP. Let's have a little look and see how much he weighs. So I'm going to say 750. Ah, 370, that doesn't seem right. I think the unit's wrong. Let's change it to... Oh, oh it's leaning on the computer, that's why. <laughs> Sorry, it was all <laughs> the computer was leaning on there. 866 is what I've got there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just bring that forward a bit. Let's just get that right now. There's no way he's a thousand. I can't believe that. Let's just make sure. Let's try him again. According to that, he's saying he's a thousand, which I don't think he is. But. You get a feel for him, I seem to say, no, no, he's more likely to be 
Yeah, not far off a thousand actually. It's quite, it's quite bulky. It might be a thousand. On well, scales are saying a thousand, so we'll put him back and we'll give him a good clean out. Thank you, Giovanni. I'll let you go back into your home. I'll leave him in peace. So, and the other one I was going to show you is I've got his wife, which I'm not sure whether Gizmo is she looking at her she is that she always wants to strike but that's that's his wife and she's a pastel g-stripe and when she's big enough we want to put those together we'll let her <laughs> leave her in peace that's fine right now there was one other I was going to show you and I can't remember which one it was another one that just shut out um, let's see if I can remember which one it was so it was Giovanni shut out um, ba, 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 ba. Let's have a look at Stormy, see how she's looking. She's enjoying her, light, her little box there, her hide. So that's fine. Okay, so I think that's probably everything on that. Let's have a little look and see how the babies are doing. So we got the female EPI Exantic, looking good. See how Bella's looking, looking very nice. Now let's look at, uh, oh that was Calissa that just shed out, that was the other one. There she is and she wants to eat now. I wonder if she'll let me come around the back. There you go darling you just shed out you're gonna look beautiful see how she looks absolutely stunning really really beautiful isn't that just lovely you like a lovely clown pattern so she's a lesser clown Calissa and she is putting on good weight See whether we can get her to turn around a little bit. There you go, darling. You're going to show off your beautiful patterns and colours. And look at that lovely green eye she's got. I'll try and zoom in on that for you. There she is. An absolutely stunning animal. Beautiful girl. And she's putting on good weight. So we're going to weigh her in a second. See what she weighs in at. But you are lovely. I've got a new paint job now. So let's just have a little look and see if the scales are still set for zero. So we'll just zero those off. Make sure they're good to go. Yep. And let's see if she's putting on a bit of weight. Now I might have to just look, look. she wants to eat, look, look. <laughs> there she is, isn't she lovely? I love the teardrops on her. And look, look she's coming to the camera for us. Hello beautiful, she's got a little bit of mascara on her as well, she's lovely, beautiful, beautiful animal. Right, you can let me pick you up. She is, she's been cold. So let's just see how much she weighs. I'm going to say she must be close to 7, 800. And she is 707. So producing the goods there Jack well done you're doing ever so well with the feeding let's put her back into her home there you go darling won't be long before you're in a bigger rub you normally do it around about 800 she is doing just perfect let's check the uh, other pet clowns are doing well yeah. so that's going to be Xena there we go so this is talking of pet clown markers yesterday there was some um, some good feedback on that and this is not a clown although it does to me look like a clown <laughs> look at the way that the alien heads join together so this is another marker for the clown if you look carefully how these all join together and also the whites and the and the way it drips you see how it drips down like dripping and i think that's an indicator of the he is a hundred percent head clown but when you get something that's 50 or 66% heck clown, you want to try and hope increase your your odds. 
you're looking for the dripping of the alien heads and the white highlighting around which is indicative of the teardrops That's what you're getting there now we could check to see whether he has a white tipped tail you can let's have a little look fella could put him in the light box actually why don't we put him in the light box and get a better view of him there you go big boy yeah he's got white tip on the tail <laughs> there you go so that's right it's there there's his white tip he's got the continuous line stripe from the tail but has he got a line on his neck that's the key I think he has but he's certainly got everything that indicates head he clown to me he's got that lovely merged alien heads and he's got the dripping the white highlighting and there's a small little neck pattern he's got a small little neck pattern on the dorsal there so there's daddy's joker so we know he's clown but that's probably what you're looking for a lot of people aren't sure but see the little white tip on the tail that's indicative of being a uh, head clown gorgeous gorgeous animal right I think we'll weigh him and see how he weighs in let's have a little look set the scales to zero I'm hoping he's putting on some good weight 413 so very good again well done well done well done so he's going to be in our future breeding projects We'll just leave him in there, and that is Doodle the Noodle. He's a pewter, 100% head clown, and his sister is Xena. She's 100% head clown. Now we can see whether her markings are similar to her brother. We know that she's 100% head clown. Just see how much she weighs. She's 322, so she's not eating as aggressively. I think Jad assist fed her and she just took a little bit longer to get going and let's have a look at her she is beautiful so she's got the spot nose in there as the additional gene and she's got merged dripping like features she's got that look at the neck stripe that they talked about in the head clown she's got that for sure <laughs> I haven't seen whether she's got the white tip on her tail it'll be interesting to see that she's beautiful isn't she gorgeous so we're going to produce some Spotnose pewter clowns as soon as she's big enough and there's her tail whether I can see the white markings on her tail she might just open up for us in a minute on an exploration let's see if she explores and then we can have a good look and she's got that teardroppy effect on her alien heads as you can see it's dripping over the side a couple of them emerged see the merging there so let's have a little look at you babies you are a beautiful little animal, aren't you? You want to come out and play. She's going to hopefully show us her tail pattern now. And she opens up. I love the beautiful mark, and she's very similar to Venus as her mother, both of these. And you can see that she is this spot nose twilight pastel that um, has uh, cinnamon in as well. Look at those. That, that, that's what we're talking about. And I think this is what James was saying is that they merge the heads together and they drip down over the body to be head clown markers. If you're looking for a head clown, that's a good indication. I just want to see if she's got that white tip on. Oh, she has got a white tip on her tail. I'm just about to see it now. Can you see the white tip? There you go. So she's got everything and she's got the stripe on her tail as well. A really big one. <laughs> and look, look, she wants to eat. She's probably feeling the heat signature of the camera, so I'm going to have to just gently just get her out of eat mode. There we go. What you do is you gently get them out of eat mode. She was picking up the heat signature. So thank you, Zena. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, and uh, we'll leave it there for today. So have a lovely weekend, everybody. And we look forward to catching up with you again shortly. Remember, we've got the 500 subscriber giveaway with Aladdin. Hope you, uh, I could show you him in the light box, but I think uh, we'll show you him next time. And we've got, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave until next time. So enjoy your weekend and we shall catch you soon. Bye-bye for now.